I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will convert factored form of quadratic equation to standard form. The question here is express each quadratic equation in standard form. Determine y intercept. So we have two equations for you to practice. So basically two binomials are being multiplied by two. You need to expand this factored form to get the standard form. Let's begin with the very first one which is y equals to two times x plus 1 times x minus 3. Many times the question is should I multiply by 2 or should I multiply by 2 later? Well this is kind of an equation we have already multiplied by some number inside right? So what I will do here is we will multiply by 2 later. So for that we should put a different kind of bracket. So I am putting square bracket we will multiply the binomials and then each term by 2. That helps since we will work in smaller numbers, right? So, how to multiply binomials? We will apply distributive property, multiplying x with x and then with minus 3. So, x times x is x squared, minus 3x when we multiply x with minus 3. And now, let us multiply by 1 both these terms of, both these terms of the second factor which is x minus 3. 1 times x is plus x and 1 times minus 3 is minus 3. Next step, we should combine the like terms minus 3x plus x. Combining these two, we get minus 2x minus 3. And now we will multiply by 2. So we get 2x squared minus 4x minus 6. So that gives us the quality equation in standard form, right? Now let's do part B of this question which is to find the y-intercept, right? So the y-intercept is what? Can you tell me? y-intercept is a point where the graph crosses y-axis, y-intercept. So at that point, x is equal to 0. So if I substitute x equals to 0, I get y-intercept. So I get y equals to the value of minus 6. See how? 2 times 0 square minus 4 times 0. So the first two terms will be 0. We are left with the second, third term, which is 6. So y equals to minus 6 is y-intercept. I hope you remember that from standard form, we can easily read the y-intercept. If the equation is given in standard form, which is, let us say, y equals to ax square plus bx plus c, then what is y-intercept? y-intercept is equal to c, this value. Correct? So that is how we can actually solve such questions. So let us do the second one also. So we'll expand using distributive property 2x times 4x. 2 times 4 is 8 and x times x is square. 2x times plus 1, so we get plus 2x, minus 12x and minus 3. Combine the like terms, 8 plus 2 I mean this is 8 square, 2 minus 12 is minus 10, so we get minus 10x minus 3. So that is our equation in standard form, right? And y-intercept in this case is what? Minus 3, right? So from where we can e easily read the y-intercept, so y-intercept is y equals to minus 3. How do you get it? By placing x equals to 0 as we did here, right? So that is how you should be solving such questions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.